Hey, what is up guys? It's the Scientific Doctor here. We're going to be taking a look at Mortal Kombat X announcement trailer. Um, it is actually very good to look at because it is confirmed that it is indeed gameplay. The only reason why it doesn't feel like it is is because it looks really good and there are different camera angles and as we know fighters don't do that. So basically it is confirmed that it is gameplay so it is really efficient to look at it to see anything uh, new added to the Mortal Kombat series and anything in general. Uh, so we're going to take a look here. I have uh, the trailer queued up. I'm going to be quiet and let you guys listen to it and then I'll go into it. Yeah, so a really, really good trailer, and you can see why it is rumored that it's CG. Not only is it like every other game uses a CG for its announcement trailer, but basically, I'm going to run through this trailer, and we're going to look at every single thing that is in there that is needed to be pointed out, because there is a lot. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to restart the trailer here. Alright, so here is the first scene here. We're going to just go through and I'm going to point out whatever I see. So first off, we're in like a winter forest. Um, so obviously it seems like it's Sub-Zero's um, world, really. It seems like his map because he's creating freeze in winter right here. And we see Scorpion as well. Uh, bot or bottom left, we see a burning tree. Um, so it's kind of like Clash of Heat. Uh, fire and ice, except that it's more winter. It just seems like it's full on winter, and he's just creating a little heat orb. Um, first off, characters designs of Scorpion and Sub Zero. Uh, they're going back to the old old days, like MK3 almost. Actually, it reminds me of where it's just a hood and then a little mask. Uh, as you know, MK9 was really, really just like steampunk and really retro and looked really really cool and all but it's great to go back to basically classic looks that are revamped and that's definitely what's going on here all right so then we got scorpion once again it looks strange it's going back almost a classic we got like the vest type komodo type thing going on here and the little uh thing going right here and then we also have uh, his helmet mask, it looks like. He's wearing basically leather face mask almost. Uh, so let's continue on here. Uh, he's got glowing blue eyes, and boom. Uh, straight up, Sub-Zero goes to jump, and uh, Scorpion just counters it basically right away. I'm going to play this again. It's I know it's really fast, uh, but I'm not going to slow it down. So boom. Uh, I don't know... If that's just fluidity tech, like uh, he's jumping and then Scorpion's doing an upper knee, but it looks really good, and I know this is gameplay, so um, looks really good there. 
Um, another thing we're going to notice right here, I pause it perfectly, um, is that his bone actually looks like it snaps and it's bending. Um, I really like the look of it. Um, and people are like, oh, it's unrealistic, blah, blah, blah. But it's Mortal Kombat. The only thing that really should look good is the and realistic is the environment and the character models. The fighting itself is all about Muay Thai and really looking uh, unrealistic. That's kind of the point because it was made way back in the day and they're really trying to keep it back in the day. That's the reason why they're bringing back the old character type models. Um, but I really like that effect. You could really feel the hit that way. So we're going to continue on. You'll see that throughout the trailer that um, like the legs bend uh, when Scorpion hits his leg um, and so on and so forth. So we're going to continue on here. Um, okay. So once again, you saw really fluid attacks. He does a right jab, right jab, right jab, then a left kick, steps forward, and then right kick. Um, and it just looked really good. Kind of like a combo, but you could tell that it was individual type uh, input punches and kicks. So, looks really good. And then, as you can see there, Scorpion grabbed his leg. And, once again, you see that bend feature. Um, so, yeah, uh, his left arm grabbed the shin, and he's just going to elbow down. Right here, you can really see that bend. And I really like that look. Um, <laughs> it just gets me. Um, definitely cool new feature. Um, kicks him off. Um, Scorpion comes back, pushes him up. Um kicks him away just like in the old days and then he gets back up uh, really really fluidly um, and boom uh, obviously seeing some block features and then there Scorpion hey guys just want to quickly apologize here for using Scorpion instead of Sub-Zero I use that a lot throughout this video but I don't know why uh, I know I mean to say Sub-Zero but Scorpion just comes out brings back uh, from MK9 the freeze feature where he'll just sweep up a freeze storm and basically freeze the opponent and it'll lock the opponent and then he's able to do a combo or a punch or whatever alright so there we go he throws him I don't know if he throws him into that tree right there it looks like he did because obviously how would the ice break but as you saw in the beginning of the trailer I pointed out that that tree was already there so maybe it's a different tree I'm not sure uh, we're going to continue on, um, gets up, more counter right there, that would probably be a, uh, in MK9 there was like the three bars of meter, that would probably be that two star uh, counter breaker that you can do, um, I'm going to show that again, because he counters, grabs, and then flames up his fist and does a huge uppercut, sorry about that noise, I accidentally uh, just punched uh, my desk, um, so definitely looks like it would be a counter breaker, we saw those all the time in MK9, and they looked really good, and that's what it looks like here, sends uh, Sub-Zero's way in the air, so, Scorpion does this, um, looks just like the MK9 Thing, except it's really dramatized obviously for the trailer um, he does that orb that he j basically shoots in a beam and uh, Scorpion jumps over and does a dive kick basically uh, he does an air kick while he's in the air and kicks Scorpion into a tree so maybe the level is 3D and you actually have uh, obstacles as the way to kind of constrict you into the arena uh, as you as you know in uh, other fighting games and even MK9 the arena sort of just ended so maybe they put a tree as the end or an obstacle like a wall or something that you can actually hit your opponent in instead of um, just on certain maps where it would just have an invisible barrier so um, what's next here is Scorpion actually grabs the tree limb uh, as you know in Injustice he decides uh, Nether Realm and all of them added to decided environmental aspects, and that didn't really work in that game. Um, by it didn't work, I mean it didn't fit in too well. But with with Mortal Kombat, it could really work because um, these characters are all around fighters, so they're fighting to the death. Uh, unlike superheroes who already have superpowers and don't need the environment, but these guys will use whatever they can. So 
a scorpion grabs a tree and basically puts ice around it and starts beating scorpion and boom it shatters um just looks so good and then he kicks him uh scorpion this will probably be a one star attack where um you can actually do a s super type attack uh not necessarily x-ray uh as we'll see later obviously but definitely a more powerful than normal attack All right. so scorpion does a slide as or not Scorpion, uh, Sub-Zero does a ice slide that we saw in MK9 while Scorpion brings back that teleporting while well, he'll go from the right side of the screen and end up and reappear on the left side to do a kick. Uh, very cool move and awesome. So there uh, we see the x-ray. I'm going to go back to it because there's a lot to point out here. Really, really detailed uh, x-rays. MK9 had really good x-rays but this is just incredible because even the lighting is unique and the tears between the clothes to go into the x-ray is very very good and it's colored um, in MK9 I believe it was black and white for the most part um, and this just looks really really in depth so props to that you can even see the digestive sy system blood on the rib cage itself and just all these little cracks in between just very looks like this intestine is wet and everything so very very in depth and I really like it so as we see here as well in the x-ray it, it looks like the same x-ray that um, he had before except it's a little different um, scorpion actually like stomped on your chest uh, in the last one but now he just breaks your knee um, but muscle layer uh, bone detail, definitely putting the bones and definitely the muscle striations look great and the bone actually going under the muscle so very very detailed um, there we go, Sub-Zero comes back once again we're seeing that environmental type aspect here that Sub-Zero is actually on a branch and doing like a uh, circle motion that gymnasts do to uh, launch yourself but he's actually using it to beat Scorpion um, so very very cool we're going to continue on here um, so as you can see here Scorpion actually grabs a sword or not Scorpion, Sub-Zero grabs a uh, sword out of the ground um, you see this previously in the trailer as you can see actually right here as he's on the tree to the left right here you can actually see that sword just sticking out of the ground and we'll see that he actually lands picks up the sword and then goes to use it so definitely one of the more um, environmental aspects that they put into injustice and are bringing back to MK9 or actually MK10 I'm sorry um, so we're gonna move on here he counters he drops the sword and they're just fist fighting um, kick scorpion alright so I wanna point this out here um, so it's the same branch that Sub-Zero was actually going off of but so Sub-Zero gets launched back, Scorpion jumps in the air, throws his chains down, wraps it around the branch to create this pendulum right here, and then basically uses it to smash him into the ground, and that's basically the finishing move. And then we're going to see the fatality, but first I want to point out, definitely putting more detail into... Um, the damaged skin obviously in MK9 there was like the normal and then after they got beat up after the fight there was like where they had uh, skin tears and blood all over them and it was really really detailed but as you can see here it's even more detailed I think because like Scorpion's mouth is like torn it looks like or bleeding all over the place and he's just really dazed you can see bruises everywhere little skin tears here um, just very detailed and I would like to see more of it um, so obviously Scorpion decides to do a spike through the head uh, blood detail looks very good um, it's going to continue on here skip past the darkness obviously Mortal Kombat logo slashes into X X is obviously 10 it's MK10 uh, so we're gonna move on uh, Scorpion pulls Sub-Zero's head off. I hope this is a real fatality they're bringing into the game. Um, and he actually pulls it, dodges out of the way as he grabs his sword right here and throws it at the head. Um, 
so it bounces off of a tree and then the sword comes in and just sticks it there very cool fatality I don't know if that's stage fatality um, definitely a new fatality from the other ones and I really hope there's more stage fatalities um, there was like only four stages in MK9 that actually had stage fatalities I believe and uh, I, would like, I would like to see multiple fatalities per stage that you can do and I would just like to see overall a stage fatality done regardless if you mess up or not um, there is obviously the option of not doing a fatality in MK9 and your character would basically just stand there and then he'd do his own thing and I believe that if you didn't do anything I wish it would just do its own classic fatality that they would just do just for winning um, just letting the other opponent just fall to the floor was unsatisfying if you messed up a fatality so I believe that there should just be automatic fatality done on any stage just for just for winning um, so that's about it we see Sub-Zero's um, eyes go dark uh, he has now died in that trailer very very cool and then it says who's next so obviously we're gonna see some more trailers and I really want to see some matchups and they said they're bringing back um, the, like the character skins uh, alternate character uh, forget what they're called dresses I guess um, there was obviously alternate skins and uh, classic skins for MK9 that you can get and they're say, they say that they're bringing that back but they also say that they're bringing different fighting types per character so we see here that Sub-Zero is using the environment and Scorpion is not um, I don't know if they just wanted to do that because Sub-Zero is winter and it's a winter map um, but maybe that is actually the type of character that he has chosen to strategize as um, so basically they're saying maybe one of them can be a heavier fighter using heavier attack combos and another one is using the environment more and one of them's using lighter attacks and feet you know basically choosing specialties out of what that character already has and I I like the idea that's kind of like skill sets um, you obviously have skill sets in almost any RPG like Dead Island and everything and you basically just be proficient in one of the areas of that character's fighting and they say they're bringing that as an automatic option which is kinda cool um, so maybe you can be really good with Scorpion's um, slide attack where he slides and ices or maybe you're really proficient in actually freezing your opponent maybe it'll freeze them longer who knows um, there's just a lot of options here when they say that you could actually choose what your character is good at because there are so many attack moves in Mortal Kombat that you can put them together and make your own move set and now that you could be proficient in one could allow for an extreme amount of combos that you can do and it'll really make you as the player unique when you're fighting online or fighting even with your friends over it could make some f for some really interesting ways to fight so that is really all I have to say guys I really thank you guys for watching I'm actually really really excited for this game it looks really really good it is the first next-gen game that really actually looks next-gen um, most of them just look the same <laughs> even Watch Dogs really um, you can compare it to GTA 5 and it's almost the same but this they it's confirmed that it's gameplay so it really does look like the first next-gen fighter and first next-gen game actually utilizing what next-gen can actually handle so I would really like to see this um, but obviously release date is 2015 so I really want to see more trailers. But that is about it, guys. Please comment um, anything I missed. I believe I covered it all. Uh, I know this video is really long. So thank you guys for watching. And let's just discuss in the comments if you have anything to say. I'll reply and we can just basically discuss uh, 
high hopes for this game. I really do have high hopes for Mortal Kombat X, the 10th installment of Mortal Kombat. Thank you guys for watching.